Would it be weird to suppose that American classical architecture is designed and built upon and around the ancient ruins? Or better say, ancient Roman like building foundations and columns? With surprisingly Doric and Ionic ornaments found here when Spaniards arrived in 15th century. On my last visit to the old mission Santa Barbara, I accidentally took a glimpse of a building details compared with other missions along the west coast, which have been built practically simultaneously, I believe. However, the old mission stands out. It has the ancient Greek pantheon as a core, which once you see it, you cannot see it anymore. It's such a drastic difference in architecture styles between the Greek or Roman pantheon. It's, it's kind of standing on pillars or columns and the adobe style bricks that just filled in the openings between the columns. See, to, to create the church building. Why the rest of the missions are built in Spanish colonial style architecture? Without any ancient Rome pantheons as a base. So, I googled everything and this is what I found out. So there is a newspaper article circulating on the internet, it's dated 1852, basically describes how the settlers are lucky to acquire such beautiful, fruitful and already pre-started land. Quote, State of Ohio abounds in ruins of towns and fortifications with extensive mounds and pyramids. It also reads that one of the south side of Missouri River in the western portion of the state there is an enclosure of some 500 acres which includes the ruins of the buildings resembling ancient tower and walls of 100 feet high, strongly resembling European towers. These ruins are overgrown with thick forests and mahogany and cedar. The ruins of majestic cities and magnificent temples, altars and beautiful works of sculpture, palaces adorned with paintings, the works of highly cultivated craftsmen. Not the freshmen of the boat settlers, unless you have nothing to lose or being prosecuted for something no one would ever put themselves through some such journey for no reason. Then hop off the boat and begin the, the most elaborate, creative and unprecedented construction in, in, in be of beautiful buildings. But first, you have to survive. Roman architecture style buildings like that, they could only be built and constructed by highly skilled people who were in their comfortable conditions, who knew that they're gonna build it for their children to, to use and enjoy for the ages to come. So this construction creations to represent their own culture. What does line up in my logical stream is that there was a significant human development previously on this land, which predates Spaniards, right? By hundreds if not thousands of years that's what it looks like so the verdict who knows it is a definite that mainstream flow of reported events is not necessarily always 100 percent correct and there is a real objective truth to the historical events right did we find the remains of ancient structures here like standing columns pillars foundation that we gladly repurposed. Sure, the, the, the main question, I believe, is how badly history is modified to serve the current narrative.